what what is the pineapple game? Uh, pineapple game, sorry, is yeah. So everyone agrees some stuff they want to get better at. So we do with a business the other day, like, did anyone come today with something they want to practice? Someone might go, actually, I'm working hard on asking better questions, or I'm working hard on taking a step back when normally I would step in and problem solve. Cool, we can have we put it up on the whiteboard and we can like and we can just hold each other to account with a playful throw a pineapple to each other. So every time, you know, uh, Lewis asks a great question, like, pineapple, Lewis, that's, that's an awesome question. Like, but also every time Rusty steps forward, the problem solve, like, Rusty, best you have the pineapple. I want to make stuff playful. Like, I want to make feedback playful. I might have mentioned it. I, I, I got an Elmo and a Cookie Monster, and I use them similarly. So Elmo is enough, let's move on. Uh, if someone's talking too much, they get the Elmo thrown to them. I, I, I signpost it beforehand. I go, put your hand up if you think you're going to get thrown the Elmo. People like me put my hand up, and then I'm really cognizant of not talking as much. And then the cookie monster is, uh, you get the cookie monster. If we think it's a really interesting idea, we want to delve into it, or we'd love to hear this person's perspective on it. And so I go, put your hand up if you think you'll get the cookie monster. Those people don't put their hand up, but they get pointed to by people who recognize the valuable people in the room. And so I'm always just trying to playfully, I mean, deliberately practice. That's just deliberate practice. Yeah, I love that. that uh, but bringing the playful element into it is just so important. And I've, I've recently been reading up a lot of the research on deliberate pr- play and deliberate practice. So from a sport point of view, especially in professional sport, how much do you try to integrate play into a professional sport environment? Yeah, it's in, I guess, like um, the stuff we've done with Oyanak. And uh, I, I know Fletch, John Fletch is the best coach I've seen. I haven't seen Wayne Smith, so I can't like compare the two. But I do think some people think he's like a kid's coach because it's the stuff he does, he like really simplifies stuff. Someone said to me the other day, uh, we were just, I was talking about this with a coach the other day, and he said, I, I remember Fletch doing this. He ran up to the defender, threw the ball over, and caught it. And he said to everyone, if you could do that in a game, would you do it? And everyone went, yeah. He went, that's kicking. Like, so he's really good at simplifying stuff. You know, like when you're thinking about depth, he'd just be like, okay, anyone takes the ball standing still, it's turnover. And suddenly everyone's like adjusting their depth and thinking about their depth. So that, so People think that's like kids coaching, but all the stuff we've done with the Kiwis and with Oynak, and they've had some decent seasons, to be fair to them, has been really playful. Like Joe Elab, like uh, Joe, Joe Ravovu plays on the wing. I'm like, mate, is he going to touch the ball or not? Like, so they said, look, Joe, like, what's your favorite chocolate bar? If you touch the ball 10 times, you get your favorite chocolate bar. So Joe touches the ball exactly 10 times, scores a couple of tries, like, He's just like, he's more of a threat in the middle than he is on the edges. He's, he's, he's against the worst defenders. And, um, but honestly, and then I, I, I was in the meeting after like some of these little individual challenges and Joe's got this packet of uh, mini Mars bars and it is like seals. People are like, <laughs> trying to get their mini Mars bar because they've achieved their goal. I'm like, these are the grown ups. Like, how cool is this? So I would want to put playful into everything. Like, we're humans. Like, uh, the minute it starts becoming a bit serious and a bit like, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But, and, and and think about the reasons why you love, you know, you love the game and why you got into it. And sometimes I think that gets lost a bit. It becomes a job. It becomes work. It becomes serious. Yeah, I guess I was I was watching cricket on Saturday, and I was just watching it, and I just thought it just can't be about the red ball hitting a stump piece of wood can it it's got to be more than that and of course it is so like i'm glued to the cricket i am a complete neutral but i and i know some people who are involved in the team and i'm like message them and i'm just like I, i'm sure you're getting grief for like some of the approach but honestly as a neutral and like the atmosphere at the ground and people talking about it and i'm absolutely all in Hey, if you've enjoyed that video, then you can click right here to watch the full unedited version of that episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. I'll see you soon.